Welcome to the last lecture of my Android tutorial. In this lecture, we're going to finish our application. So let's get started. And uh, we're going to create our grid view here. And um, see grid view. And this is the grid view that we created in our content main here. In the ID is grid view. Um, can close this. And after this part, we're going to um, initialize it. So say grid view. And we can pause the tutorial for the challenge you want to. Really it lots of times. And grid view. Okay, so this part is it. And after this floating action button, we're going to handle the set on item click listener and we're going to say new adapter view dot on item click listener and this should really done job here is the plan method and we're going to do that too okay so this is going to handle that we can just to do here to do handle grid view click so we can see it now our to do list here and to handle the camera um, we are going to create a method here called just gonna be void method this patch take picture intent so we're saying that because we're going to use an intent to open camera application and we're going to say intent take and we're going to import this picture intent and we're going to say new intent and it's going to be media store dot action image capture. So this is this finds what application that we want to open, and we have to put an if statement to uh, assure that the camera application can handle this intent. So we should say take picture intent that resolve activity and get package manager here so if this is not um, equals to null we can keep doing our task here and we don't need to worry about these things so these are saying the camera application can handle our intent and we're going to say file photo file it's import file here and so we're going to create an image file at the end so we're going to save it to new for now and we're going to say try so if you don't know this try catch thing you need to um, of geo documentation or a geo tutorial to learn about them. And uh, this is like if else, but here we are trying to um, handle our errors um, using this. So if you're trying to handle errors, this is the way to do it. This is the proper way. And this is going to be an IO exception in that case. So we can say exception that X. Now we are going to do that for now. That's because we need to put stuff here. And photo file is going to be uh, we're going to create another method called image file. So actually, we can just create now here. So, private file is going to return a file, create image file, and uh, we're going to fill this method later and create image file. So we're going to call this method here and OK, 
Okay, so this part is this. And obviously, you need to handle the exception here. Um, so, in that case, you need to actually say here throws IO exception. Okay, so this was the reason that we were getting an error. So, uh, we want to make sure that our application doesn't crash. So, we have this. That's why we have this error handling code here. Um, so you can say you can throw an error here, but that throw your error here, but we won't be able to observe this because every time we will create this file, so we can just leave it blank. And so if the file is successfully created, we're going to do this. So that means photo file is not new if it's successfully created. And we're going to say URI photo URI, URI and we're to import this again. Equals to file provider and get, get URI for file. And in, inside this, we're going to say this. From that my say that file provider because that was the thing that we used before if you remember that and photo file but obviously not not like this so like that okay okay outside this photo file. Um, so this is it, and we're going to say take picture intent that put extra and media store that extra output. Uh, don't worry, that doesn't make sense because it, it is a step two, so just try to understand a bit and don't worry about it too much and we're going to say stat activity for result take picture intent and request statement so we need to create uh, another variable here um, private string request um, take So, first take photo. We're not going to change it, so that's why I made it capital. And here we're going to say first take photo. Okay. Um, so we have this. So we're just having the activity, the camera activity here. And we're going to take one photo. So it's just saying that. And now let's create our, let's, let's create this method. Um, so we're just going to create an image file name here, where we're handling it. So timestamp. So this is going to take the time that we take our photo, simple date format. And here we're just trying to apply the name convention. And hours, hours, minutes, minutes, and seconds, seconds. So it's just the day format and that format new date. So it's going to take the date and it's imported. Um, so it should be better. And here string image file name um, equals JPEG. And plus timestamp plus this underscore. And we're going to say file storage directory 
get external file directory and environment dot directory pictures because we're going to take pictures. So this is going to be our storage directory and file image is going to be file that create temporary file um, and we're going to pass image file name jpg jpg sorry and storage directory as our parameters so this is going to create this file for us and we need actually a string here um, processing to our path so in that case we're going to say m current path and current photo path actually so it's going to hold the photo path to our photo or the path to our photo and m m current photo path equals to image dot get absolute path. So we're gonna get the absolute path from here. And now I set it to m current photo path. And we're going to put our um, database in this visit, which is uh, we're going to call it save image to db. We're going to err er because uh, we haven't implemented it yet and we're going to pass it to here. And then we're going to return our image. So don't worry about this error now, we're going to handle it. Sorry, this is. Yeah. So this, uh, so we're going to handle this. Uh, so we're going to have two um, actually database methods. The first one is private get data from DB. And the second one is, again, private. We have to access this uh, method from outside, so we can make it private. It's good, um, good practice. And save image to db and it's going to take a string as a parameter which is m current photo path but in that case we can actually call it something else uh, for now let's call it photo path and use it inside it so we don't confuse them oh yeah so this, uh, this is not going to return anything and this get is not going to return anything either So let's create our get data from DP method. And this is where we're going to use our image DB hub that we created earlier. And you can see MDB helper for this. And new image DB helper, obviously, and this because they want a context parameter for its constructor. And here we're gonna say SQLite database. You can create other that's gonna be DB and MDB helper. The object that we created and that get readable database because we're going to read it here. We're going to get data. And we're gonna say Cursor, cursor. So this cursor is going to help us read values from database. So it's going to be there's going to be a cursor going around and getting data. Uh, it's going to be db dot row query. So we need to pass our SQL query here. So we're going to say select everything. This time is everything from, and we're going to put our table name here. So, which is going to be image contract. Oh, sorry, uh, I should say pass here. Image contract dot image entry 
start table name. So this is the and we are saying middle here. Don't worry about this middle again. Uh, so this is gonna take this table name. So take everything from that table. That's why we create this image contract, image entry thing here to help us um, speed up our uh, code. Um, so here we're going to say uh, we're going to take image path from database. So we're going to say image column because that's where the images are stored. So it's going to be the ID of the column, if you will. Not ID of the row or ID of the ID. It's going to be the number of the row. Um, so image column, we're going to use cursor that we created here. And get column index. And our column name is going to type, and just going to get it from image contract once I've created. So this, this, and column image path. Um, so we get these two, and we're going to take cursor move to last. Um, you can say move to first too, but we want our latest picture to appear at the top, at the beginning. So we're going to move it to last, and we're going to take pictures from the last, because the last picture in the database is going to be the last picture that the user took. And um, so we want to clear our, um, we need to create a array list here. It's like we did in image adapter. So private array list, string. It's so gonna hold, hold all the paths, we're gonna say image um, image path and we're going to say new array list and now we have this um, so before setting anything we want to make sure everything is clear so we're going to say this clear thing which is going to empty the array list and after that if a cursor is not null because then it might get an um, exception if it's new, so we want to check it. And and we're gonna say cursor dot get oops get count is greater than zero. So we need to make sure that we have elements in our database. I'm gonna use a do while loop here. And so we're gonna say do string m image path. This is the image path that we get. So it's going to be going to say cursor. Actually, yeah, cursor. Dot get string. It's going to be image column. So we're going to get this to cursor, and then we're going to assign it to m image path. And we're gonna say image path dot add our m image path. So and then we're going to put the string in our um, array list of strings for so all the all the image paths. And then we're going to pass it to our image adapter. So it's gonna be this, this, and we're going to get all our photos. That's the logic behind it, and we're going to say cursor that move to previous. Oh, sorry, move to previous. Yeah. So because we started at last here, it's going to um, advance towards the first element by moving to previous one. And we're going to say here finally. After doing this, um, cursor dot close. So it's also a uh, try catch final thing. If you don't know it, you need to look it up on a you know Java tutorial or something like that. And let's create our save image to DB because after taking the picture, we need to save image to database. Um, so we need this image helper and so this code should is going to be the 
almost the same, but this is going to be get writable database because you, know, you want to write it. And now we're going to say content the class to um, so for content values that makes it very easy for us to put content um, in our database. And we're going to say new content values. And we're going to say values that put. So, and image contract that image entry. So, same stuff. And that common image path. So, we're going to put photo path, which is the this command. Photo path. So this is the parameter that we take from here and we're going to put it in our database inside the image path column. And we're going to uh, insert our element to our database and we're going to assign the ID to this um, new row ID. Yeah, well, we're not going to use it, but we might want to use it in the future. So that's the way to do it the insert and again each contract that each entry dot table name and new and value so it's gonna add all the values to our database. Um so this class is very simple too. Now um we actually want to and get data from database. So I'm first created the uh, after right after creating grid view. We want to actually we can take it here. So get data from DB. So I'm first of all, get all the photos they are going to show up by uh, calling this method here. And we already created a method for this, which was this such take picture intent this method. And now we need to handle the image click. Before that, we need to add a little code. So we can edit right after on create here. And we're going to override this method because it's uh, no free activity. And it's going to be protected void on act activity result and we're going to take in um, request request code and in result code and intent data so inside this method we need to call this so basically, this method is going to be called when we close our camera application. So we'll close camera inside our app. This method is going to be called, and we need to get data again. So we're going to make sure that we added our newest photo to our user interface. So that's the idea behind it. And now there's only one more thing left. We're going to we need to handle this. So let's let's do it. And we're gonna say final dialogue because our preview is going to show up like a dialogue here. Dialogue dialogue we need to import dialogue with that new dialogue. I'm going to say context here. We don't have context, so we need to create a context um, variable here. So private context context. And I can change it so we might not set it to final. And context. And we're going to say dialogue. So this part is you might want to use a lot because you see these dialogues appear on the apps all the time. 
to tell the user uh, something. Uh, for example, uh, do you want to log out or do you want to say this, do you want to leave this or rate me on Google Play Store that annoying um, dialogue that appears. These are all these dialogues. So you probably want to pay attention to that. Set um, content view and r dot layout dot image preview so this is it and we're gonna say image Im okay. image view and image let's go see image for now and you can again pause and do this on your own because you've done it a lot image view and find view by id r dot id dot mm, so this is the image view that we created here so it's image preview that's why we will use our xml file image preview okay so look at this now it's just going to be the um same as Same as the code that I copy pasted, which was in the image adapter. So this code that I had copy pasted is gonna be here because we're going to set uh, image to our image view again. We change this one to change this bit, and the rest is going to be the same and the one thing we want to do here is to show the dialog and that is a show so now oh, okay so we have like a little error here okay um, I forgot the error this is not gonna be final my bad and since it's going to be this active this content is going to be this and I also realized that we forgot to add the adapter here I'm really sorry for that so instead of get that from DB we need to update the uh, update our grid view so we're going to say grid view here um, grid view dot set adapter that's how we're going to use our um, image image adapter and we're going to say new Image adapter and get application context and image paths. And uh, these are the pointers that this class wanted. So here we're actually setting our photos to our grid view. Um, um, I noticed one final bug in my code. It's it this dialog link we need to edit here because this image view is not a part of the Actually, it's meant that we edit here, but it's a part of this image preview, so we need to pass this dialog, which is the dialog object we created there, so we need to pass it before this file view by ID. And sorry about that, and I will launch the app, and I say Java password, and now we can do this again. And let's um, Let's take a red sign, red, just and if I click on the images, I can see them. So this is our app. It has its um, limitations, but you can improve them. Um, thank you for watching all these videos, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you improve yourself in Android and software development.